Hey everyone, Colin Dart, Mile High Modern, checking in late October with some September stats, but equally importantly, talking about some broad strokes, market trends, what I'm experiencing in my personal business, as well as I think I'm seeing in a lot of my colleagues' feedback and what I'm hearing also from clients. I think that's really important. I've been having a tremendous amount of conversations, more than probably any time in my career, about the market because there's a lot of people that are nervous, they're uncertain, there's people that wanna make moves that aren't making moves, there's people that are holding on to property that perhaps would like to move on, and then there's buyers that are wondering, will interest rate environment become more appealing? Should I be waiting? What does this mean for me? Am I buying at the peak of the market, et cetera? If I had a crystal ball, I would love to tell you the answers to all those things. But what we can do is we can dive into some market metrics, talk about what's happened in the past years, specifically years 2013 to 2019, and then extrapolate forward into what may be happening in 2024. I think it's important to consider all outcomes, right? Because we have the media saying that the sky is falling. We have some national markets that are experiencing some disruption. And so making good decisions, good long-term real estate decisions based on reality is what I'm here for and based on what your long-term goals are is really why I do what I do. So going in quickly through some of the stats that we had in September, pricing pullbacks, nothing surprising here. Seasonality is upon us and seasonality means that we have a retraction phase starting in September through usually November and then we see pricing stabilize with the thought that we will go back into an expansion phase starting in the first quarter of the following year. So if those trends ring true, trends for more normal market, which would be 2013 to 2019, we should see pricing stabilize from the drop that we experienced, if you look below in the stats that we have, we saw a drop in Boulder County, City of Boulder, and then City of Denver, average sold price, single family detached is still up 4.6% year over year. So we're seeing prices hold stable uh, with, with some seasonality without question. But I think that the overall market is still holding with our pricing and value proposition and we really haven't seen much downward movement other than the seasonality and then combine it with a high interest rate environment. And perhaps we've seen a little bit, you know, let's say two to 5% more fluctuation during this time of year than we normally would. So I'm on the lookout for, will we see prices stabilize in November, December? And then probably more importantly to consider, will these prices start expanding again in February, March, April, May, June of 2024. And this is how we're kind of back engineering real estate decisions today and how we'll be looking at that in the next six months. Because what is scaring me the most about our current market is that we have transactions that should be happening that are not happening. And the climate that we are in right now, there's opportunities on all sides of the spectrum to make a move. On the buy side, you have interest rates that are not favorable at all, but we have 60% of properties closing with a concession to pay down interest rates right now. We have pricing that is stagnated or depreciating in many regards. Great homes are still seeing multiple offers. I competed on a home yesterday with three offers. So it's not uncommon. We're still in a seller friendly market, but there is a broader spectrum available to buyers right now because it's not every property or every third property seeing multiple offers. It's like every 10th property. You've got nine other properties that may sell at or below list price. And where that falls in the spectrum is where the magic happens on the buy side right now. And alternatively on the sales side, a lot of people hold a tremendous amount of power because they're sitting on 3%, 3.5% or below interest rates. So they have their market, their home on the market. If they don't get what they want, and yeah, they may be willing to negotiate a little bit, but if they're not getting what they want, they can pull the property off, relist in the spring. They'll likely get closer to what they want unless we see a year that has been anomalous from any year we've seen in the last decade plus, or they can pull the property off and rent it and then hold on for another year and kind of weather the storm, let a renter pay down their mortgage and then relist again in 2025. So 
Seller side, lots of options and there's still, it's still a seller friendly market. We have to acknowledge that there's still multiple offers happening in certain situations. However, it is the exception, not the rule. And therefore there's opportunities on both sides of the coin to make a strategic move. That's what we're here to do. Uh, as always, if there's someone that you care about that I can support, if someone needs to hear the same messaging, feel free to forward it to them, send them the link. And I'm always here to support you, your family, friends, people you care about. Till next time, take care, ciao.